Howdy, 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 everybody. Tracy here and... Ready. <laughs> it is... It is... I'm very excited, you guys. We got internet back now. We got electricity back, cable back. We have some happy, happy, happy campers. Woo, 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 woo! Right, honey? Yeah. We just do a little dance. We got... You know, we just... Upgraded in the ghetto. Fabulous hair. <laughs> it is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. September 4th, 2016. Sunday afternoon at 3.08 p.m. And I guess I'll have to do the weather because we did this once, but it is then. It's currently 84 degrees. Okay. Um, real field temperature of 95. A high projected high today of 84 and a low of 75. Okay. And the next four days, uh, they're predicting sunshine and roses for us. Yeah. It's cloudy right now. It's been kind of spitting off and on rain. Um, you know, but it's all good in the hood. Woo. <laughs> we got electricity restored about shortly after 6 p.m. last night. And everybody was so grateful. And then I don't know when they restored the cable and the Internet. I saw the, we saw the Xfinity trucks across the street when we when we came home uh we just got home so uh and then when i opened up my computer my laptop here to to do my daily vlog i saw that it showed that we had internet so i'm like do we do we really do we do we i haven't gotten to watch but just a few of of, of you guys's videos that i used a little bit of data for because you know, i'm going through withdrawal and <laughs> so i'm way behind on i hope everybody's okay i know there's some Keep really going through hard stuff, you guys. You know, if you haven't, go please say prayers for Mom's Club baby, their little son Elijah. Is just, you know, he has neuroblastoma and it's just not, it's heartbreaking, you know. And although the neighbors are really having a rough time of it, you know, that, you know, they've had a lot of different stuff going on uh, and stuff. And, you know, now their air conditioner is out and, it, you know, that's what. Kevin made a short, just a short, like, 30-second video that uh, it doesn't look like it can be fixed the rest of this summer there in California. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. So, so probably real Yeah, yeah, very, you know. And, uh, you know, so many other neighbors uh, or other YouTubers and just near and dear friends are really struggling. And... You know, I just want you guys to know if any of you guys are watching that I love you guys and I care about you. And, you know, uh, I'm never too busy to respond or anything, you know. You know, cause you guys, you guys have all reached out to us and stuff when we were going through this hurricane. And, yes, it was a very terrifying experience. I had to work hard not to lose it because I knew freaking out wouldn't do any good. I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't help Brad out at all the dog the animals pick up on it if you're freaked out you know they do and uh you know it just wouldn't do any good but i so wanted to uh but now we're wiser about that too um brad made chicken noodle soup yesterday um he finished putting that together uh we boiled up a bunch of, you know, you end up like all these half bags of, of assorted stuff. But we used all of those and, you know, just a couple cans of vegetables to, you know, we go to can get, you know, we're limited in, in freezer and, and refrigerator space. And uh, the chicken I cooked the night for the chicken stock. Um, and. We still can't find the lid to the mayonnaise. It's down here, I saw. Oh, okay. I saw it right down here. Okay. Um. And, uh, yeah, we lost a lid to the main egg. That's another story. Uh, and, um, some onions and onions. 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 And some spices. And it was very good. And I'll eat on that for the rest of the week. I, like I said, I love homemade soups and stuff. Um, and we, we took nap. I didn't sleep for that long. Brad finally did fall asleep. Uh, and slept for a while. He was just so exhausted. I wanted to talk about the beautiful thing, though, with it, what we went through and, and what's been going on here is neighbors helping neighbors and friends reaching out. Um, and um, 
I'm going to talk a little bit later on about my experience with it and my viewpoint on, on true friends and, and, and neighbors and stuff and, and family. Um, today we did go run errands. Um, we hadn't been out of the house since right before the hurricane or the day before the hurricane, except for when I almost got out of the RV park to go collect Brad and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but we went and ran errands. Um, it was a real madhouse in Walmart. Oh, Lord. I just sat out in the vehicle because we took the two big dogs. And if we take the two big dogs, I we don't just leave them out in the vehicle. So I was sitting out there with them. And um, he said it was just a madhouse. The hot dogs were all gone except for, you know, a super expensive pack. Um, you know, the lunch meat, there was like one pack that was $8, or, you know, for about two slices of lunch meat. You know, it was just hammered and just the long lines, as you can imagine, because, you know, in the dairy case, it's just non-existent and stuff. Because, okay, it's first of the month with the hit, you know, and also, um, you know, the trucks and stuff. Fudge! Oh, wow! Yeah! It just rained, um... Twister ties. Twister ties all over. We had this big bag of twister ties from when I was uh, had my candle making business. So I used twister ties all the time. Well, he opened up the cabinet up above. He had the bag sitting there. It opened. It rained. But anyway, um, like the Jerry Case trucks haven't been able to come through, so as you can imagine, you know, um, everybody just doing the best they can. Uh, lots of damage. Um, Lots of uprooted trees, broken trees, uh, broken branches, uh, you know, uh, damages to, like, business signs, street signs, fences, uh, roofs. I mean, as you can imagine, you can see where the water and stuff came up over the road and stuff. There are huge piles of pine needles and seaweed and stuff. You, you know, all the trees were very heavy with this bank moss. You know, it, it goes uh, it, nearing the end of summer and stuff. They were all very heavy. You can see where some of the trees... You can see where there were definite waves and stuff of this storm where, you know, trees are, are stripped clear and then you might have some trees further up the road that still have some. So, um, you know, places got hit very hard basically like fantasy and stuff um i mean not devastating like katrina or anything like that but it was pretty you know heavy um and in this park there's been some damage and stuff we really lucked out with the placement of like i said we were right in line with the bathhouse and stuff so we really lucked out and to i firmly believe that god was protecting us you know um so, Brad got the rest of the groceries for the month. We're tracking about $400 a month living here for us, two people, and six animals. And and so that's really good because that includes all of the pet food and everything. Um, it does not include our prescriptions. Our prescriptions, probably together, about $100, don't you think, hon? And that's without the Victoza. That's without the Victoza. We're having to go off the Victoza. Brad's going to use up the rest of it. Then we're going to have to switch to something else because it's just um, too expensive and they don't, they're don't unable to get any more samples. So, um, And that's fine, too. Uh, that is what it is. I mean, one thing we are learning here is not to become so upset about everything. It's more of a, of a, a lax atmosphere. And you just, it doesn't do any good to get upset about it. There's nothing we can do about it. It is what it is. Like I said, this has been a more, more challenging period of our life, but we're getting through it and learning. And, you know, we're learning some really valuable lessons. Um, so, uh, tonight we're just going to have chili dogs. We're going to make chili dogs and uh, tater tots and uh, stuff. So, uh, um that's about it on that. Oh, I did do some looming last night. I did watch a movie. That was a really sad movie. I don't know what it's called, but it was on Netflix. I really like the, the drama movies. And it was about this girl that had been being bullied in school, this teenager, uh, by someone who used to be her friend. And um, it was more than just a bullying in school. It was um, 
cyberbullying too, and she ended up uh, trying to uh, take her life. And it was just kind of showing all the depths of what the bullying and 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 it was just it was a very good movie. It was very sad, um, you know, because that's no joke at all. You didn't need to take it serious if somebody says they're having difficulty uh, and not laugh at all. Um, I've been there. Anyway, I did do some looming while I was watching that, and I made my first ever cow. I've never made a cow before, um, and uh, I'm not sure. I probably will list this one, and like I said, it's just curled up a little bit, uh, which is no biggie. See, so you just uncurl it, but yes, and just slipped right over your head. And I'm not gonna show it because I don't like to. I don't like to wear stuff. I I put up, so we just slip it right over your head, and it fits right around your neck. It'll fit right inside of a jacket or whatever this winter. You can always pull it up, you know, like that, uh, you know, if you're breathing in cold air. You can also wear it up over your head and stuff. So, yeah, it was fun to make, and I really liked it. This is some loops in, in Thread Charisma, but I do not know the color of it. But it is not real accurate on screen. It's more of a aqua blue and stuff and then purples and some greens and, and black and stuff but yeah so I'll be listing that on Etsy later on with that um, blue blue and green aqua kind of the same color scheme um, sachet scarf I finished and then a painting I finished um, and before I talk about today's topic which is being full-time friend. I wanted to show you guys. I did have some milk come in. We did order some. I told you guys we need to order some art supplies. Or some supplies, you know. Um, and my husband ordered. He hadn't ordered from Fire Gym before. Uh, is it Fire Gym? Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain Gym. Um, but he hadn't ordered there. And he really liked the bead caps with the loop. So um, that's what he orders and I think these were a hundred of them yeah um if I remember right about 15 bucks yeah that was with shipping but um they're really I'll take one out and pack you guys there's a hundred of them here and it's a kind of a cross between a blue and or I mean a gold and a silver which would be perfect and it's good like I said he liked the Bead caps with the, the loops on the end, and if you guys see how that is right there, you see you can you can you can spread those prongs out if you have a bigger piece. Of it. That's why he likes these so much. So yeah, he was really pleased with that. If he didn't have them, we looked at Hobby Lobby uh, online. We looked at Michaels online. We looked at like, eBay and stuff. Finally, we went to Fire Mountain Gems and, and ordered it, and they were came super fast, so that's a good deal. And I ordered some more of the electro pads for the TENS unit. There's 40 of them in here, you know, we use four at a time, but you know, usually one set will last a month, so that's good. And we like these wider ones. I ordered a uh, set of um, shades of gray pens to do some artwork in so that came in and then I ordered and they sent me two separate packs but some more of the uh, shabby cheek um, print or a uh, shabby cheek uh, flowers that I put on the headbands and can put on on slippers I could put them on hats you know all you guys have to do is let me know you'd like to have them so and at, that's at no extra choice so so I said all in. That's all we got in. That's, like I said, we don't order that much. And then I did order last night. I told you guys I was using that no pull leash. We're using that now on Nixie because you can't back out of it. It's working really well, it, it, too, for controlling it. She can't just pull you over and stuff. But what happens when she does it, it cinches tighter on her, under her belly. It doesn't hurt her or anything, but, you know, they, they stop pulling as much. So I ordered an identical one for Charlie. It was only $4.50 for shipping. So you can't beat that. So, because what we want to do is start 
But I've been working on getting in a lot more walking, especially when the dog runs in. He's really, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, we've been working on that. So I want to start going for walks too, you know, and I'd like us each to be able to take one of the big dogs. That way they get their exercise. Well, the the nice thing about those leashes mm -hmm. is since it cinches right in front of her hips around her belly, Yeah. when you pull it, and if you pull up, you're kind of pulling her hind legs off the ground. Yeah. I mean, not really, but you're lifting up enough so she doesn't have traction. Right, right. To pull. Right, and like I said, and she can't back out of it because it's attached to a collar. So she can't scoot and back out of it. She can't pull forward and, and scoot out of it either. So it's nice. Now, now the thing is, though, is if they're sitting... Like, like when she's riding in a vehicle, she will step out of the vacuum because it re that part relaxes if you're not walking them. So you just have to double check that. That's no big deal. Well, and then also you tightened up her collar. Her collar was excessively loose. Yes. And you tightened it up not to wear. I mean, I can still get four fingers between. Yeah, her yeah. Collar and I always check that. I know you do. You know. But she was could slip her collar. She was slipping her collar. So and also they say with these. Uh, and tick collars that you need to have those not so loose or else they're not effective so you know um it's all a learning thing what i wanted to talk about is um first i want to thank everybody you guys really really are just phenomenal uh here on youtube and my friends on facebook too so many of you guys messaged me i mean my phone was just going nuts and tech me and left comments and stuff and left comments also on my Facebook page. You guys were really, really there for us and I thank you and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and so did Brad. Um, you know, because you guys stopped no matter what you were doing and and reached out to us. Just like we did. Even in the midst of the hurricane and stuff, we were still reaching out to our other friends whether or not they were in the area and affected or they were in some other part of the country but were going through a hard time in their life. It doesn't matter. It only takes a few seconds or a few minutes to reach out to somebody and go, Hey, I'm sorry you're having a hard time. It's okay. You know, or what can I do to help? I mean, you know, you know, Marcy just love you to death. She was, you know, said we could come up to Memphis, Tennessee, you know, and she was trying to find some place else for us to go and stuff. And I really think Thank you. My daughters were just very worried and stuff. You know, even even my my uh, brother and, and and parents and stuff. You know, sent messages and stuff. Sent text. I mean, Brad's mom. I mean, all of our real close friends and family. If they were able to, you know, they certainly did. And you know, that's the way we are too. We're full time friends. It doesn't matter if we're in a hurricane. If we know that you're you have something bad going on in your life and stuff, we're still gonna send a message. You know, because what if I look at it this way, you gotta live your 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 daily life in the same way you would if you thought maybe it was the last day of your life. What if I hadn't you know, we hadn't communicated with our daughters? to say I love you one more time or hadn't reached out to friends to say hey we're still here for you you know we love you guys we're still here for you I mean so to not reach out it's like okay you know it, it could have been possible Brad and I wouldn't have made it through the hurricane you know but I felt like this is it if it was my time to go then it was my time to go you know and I'm not being just you know facetious about that I just you know that's the way I just kind of believe I mean we did we made the best choice we could and no we certainly did not want to have it be our last day on earth but you know but if it was at least we we're gonna at least we were together yeah and I've had a good life so you know and we don't control such things you know I believe that God does but I want to thank everybody, and that's what, I'm a full-time friend, I'm not a part-time friend. I'm not going to just reach out and make a comment to you um, when I get around to it, or um, when I'm bored, or when I want something from you. And there's way too many people like that, and, you know, 
is way too many people only come around when they want something or when times are good. And, you know, there's a big difference. You can tell. You know, but uh, I just want to thank everybody again because that really meant a lot. Because, yeah, I mean, being down here and not having, not, you know, having, uh, all of our friends are here in this campground that live in this area. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, we have some other friends that live in Florida, but they were getting hit too, not as hard as we were, but we wouldn't have been safe to go down by yeah. them. Um, and, uh, but I mean, so all of our friends, you know, they were, you know, off with friends or family and stuff. So, you know, we were just kind of left here. I mean, and, uh, yeah, it was a scary experience, you know. We just, you know, kind of sat there and held each other and, you mm -hmm. know, you know, we did a lot of praying. Yep. We did a lot of praying. I'm not even going to pretend. I, we did, I did a lot of praying. I've done a lot of praying this last week. In fact, people, I mean, I told Brad on coming back home, it's like today, I said, well, I said, you know, this has been a very, uh, a lot of lessons learned this week. We had our first breakdown in the vehicle. We had our second breakdown in the vehicle. <laughs> we survived our first hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yes, we are no longer a hurricane virgin. We still were reaching out and helping our friends that, you know, have some hard stuff going on. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, you know, and um, it's just, you know, one of the, you know, it's so nice. Like I said, I feel like all of us, including us sometimes, you become so self-absorbed in your own little world, in your own little problems, that we fail sometimes to see the bigger picture. I try to work hard on seeing the bigger picture and not becoming so absorbed in whatever my problems is, but I know sometimes I do. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm do keep working on it. I'm never going to be perfect, but I just keep, you know, working on being the best I can be. But the storm, or in times of any kind of, of hard time, I think a lot of times will either break people apart or they'll bring people closer together. And this is a wonderful little community we have in this RV park. And that I have with you guys on YouTube and my friends on Facebook. And even my family has gotten stronger. Which, oddly enough, with us moving and stuff, you know, I think it's not like, oh, well, you know, they're there, we'll get to them someday. You know, um, it's been a good thing. And, but everybody coming together like the neighbors all coming together helping each other out this way that way everybody's helping with the cleanup here in this rv park and stuff you know because uh you know there was some damage done um you know uh but uh it's been wonderful to see that everybody coming together and and stuff and you know it's been kind of kind of i wouldn't say fun but it's been it's been been neat to watch you know and yesterday kind of struck me yesterday morning was it yesterday morning people started coming home or no no the morning yeah friday, friday. morning yeah friday morning people started coming home and it was really neat to see it and it just felt like you know for now this is home mm -hmm. you know so yeah anyway i hope everybody's having a great day and drop me a note let me know what you're doing and I'm going to be catching up on your vlogs. And I love you guys. And I do cherish friendship so much. It means the world to me. So many of you are just like family to me. So, um, you know, welcome to my new subscribers. If I haven't replied to your messages just because I've been overwhelmed lately with messages. So, um, you know, know that I read them and I, and I appreciate them. And I love you guys. Um, I think you're all awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.